if you're a man and you're looking to marry a wife and if you're a woman and you're looking to marry a husband you should actually ask like this one you need to ask the person what are two different individuals coming together to become one and if you're coming together to become one it means that your goals must align like whatever your plans are must be in sync so you want to so you need to be clear what what is this relationship that is between us are we just friends are we acquaintances do you want to do friends with better <laughs>
or it's going to be unfair for you as a feminist to want to go with a man that has his traditional beliefs held onto what the Bible says word for word. I know the concept of submission can be mistaken a lot of times, but it is clear you have to submit to your to your husband just as the church is subject to Christ. However, the Bible also says husbands love your wives even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. So if you want submission from your wife, you should be willing to follow the pattern which Christ also laid for husbands. So I go back to um, verse 28. It says, So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife, loveth himself. So if you're going to want to follow the Bible structure or the God structure for a family, you cannot follow some instructions in isolation and leave out the others. You need to follow through from beginning to the end. So you need to discuss with your partner what their ideal family structure is. Very, very important. So the third point I wrote here now is, what are your goals and future plans? So it is important to ask for your future plans because you are two different individuals coming together to become one and if you're coming together to become one it means that your goals must align like whatever your plans are must be in sync so you want to be sure that the person you are talking to is going in your direction so i remember in the early stage of our relationship where i spoke to my husband and i'm like okay i know that we're in the country for now and i want to work and i want to do this and you want to do that and we're trying to build our lives but sometime in the future i would want to relocate now at that point my husband was not even thinking about it do you understand but because we have spoken about it if the opportunity comes for us to relocate today we'll definitely take it because i have told him that in my own plan i want to leave the country so if it's fine by you, you would stay. If it's not fine by you, then maybe you can look for another person. So aside relocation, you know, you also have to make future plans about what you want to do. Do you want to be like a career woman, like to the core? Do you want to follow through with your career to like the end of like, okay, how am I going to say now? In the next 10, 15 years, where do you see yourself? Are you going to follow through with your career? Do you want to stop a while and have children as the man where do you see your career are you going to leave paid job to start your business are you going to invest in other businesses are you going to like you just need to be sure what are your short-term and long-term goals short-term goals okay in the next two three years i want to work with this company long-term goals in the next 15 years this is where i want to be so your plans have to be in sync so my next question to ask is that's the fourth question. What are your expectations for the relationship? Now, if you're starting a relationship, you're not just starting the relationship for the sake of being in the relationship. That is, if you are of marriageable age, you want to be in a relationship with the aim to marry. So you need to be clear. What, what is this relationship that is between us? Are we just friends? Are we acquaintances? Do you want to do friends with benefits? Or what is the essence of this relationship? And where is this relationship heading? Like, how, in how long do you intend to marry? Do you want to marry, like, immediately? Do you want to wait for a year, two years, three years? You need to ask these questions to ensure that nobody is wasting anybody's time. You might be ready for marriage, but the young man is still looking at, okay, in two years, I should have put my resources together to marry. And you as the man might be ready for marriage, but the lady is thinking, okay, I need to wrap up on my master's before I going to marriage before i start having kids so you need to talk about that too how long do you intend to wait to get married so for the fifth question now like this one now is like the life wire of the relationship it is what's your financial strategy or plan it's no news that money is like a major factor in issues that couples have so you need to be clear on what your partner's financial plan is you need to ask them, do you spend before you save or do you save before you spend? You need to be clear because you're going to be spending money on a lot of things. You know, kids will come, there will be school fees, there will be a lot of bills to pay, family occasions if you are a Nigerian like us and all of that. So you need to ask the person, are you someone that saves for the future? Do you invest? 
do you take opportunities or are you the type that do you make a budget yeah do you make a spending budget or are you the type that just goes with the flow like if you have money whatever is what to do you just do it or do you like write out your budget and be sure that you stick to the budget if not 100 percent but like 90 percent because financial planning is very important take it from me take it from me so another important question that people don't ask how many kids do you want in this marriage or in this relationship how many kids do you want to have it's funny that a man wants to have two kids and his wife wants to have three kids or his wife wants to have four kids and then they not get married after the first children the man is saying i'm not doing but the woman is like no you must do i want an extra child you know the man is thinking oh my capacity am i sure that i can like train more than two children but you know women are always like kids and all of that so please be clear some women also want one child while their partner would want more than one child and they want child maybe because of their career or something so you need to be clear and ensure that if you have to compromise you do the compromise before you get married so it, it doesn't become a major issue another important question to ask your partner during the relationship or in your talking stage in fact in your talking stage more importantly do you believe in sexual purity i know yes that sexual purity is claimed to be outdated but then it is not if you're a christian the bible holds us by a standard which is sexual purity i know a lot of people might have gone through a lot of experiences maybe intentionally unintentionally you know some people have been abused raped and all of that yeah that's that's not an issue but are you being celibate before marriage does your partner agree with you because you need to be on the same page you cannot want to practice sexual purity and be with someone who cannot even like keep to himself for a short period of time or keep to herself for a short period of time so um yes when you talk about sexual purity you also need to talk about infidelity in marriage is your partner the one that believes that all men are cheats is it the one that believes that um men are polygamous in nature like they claim is your female partner the one that believes that she's not satisfied with a man she can seek pleasure elsewhere you need to also discuss the use of sex toys in your marriage so that's that about that question you also need to ask about friendships and boundaries like friendship with the opposite sex you know as a female before you get serious with someone you have some other friends or even childhood friends that are male that you cannot do without you need to speak about your boundaries with your partner or as a male you have female friends that you cannot do without you need to discuss the boundaries with your partner like you need to be able to set a limit so to the next question what do you think of your parents the reason why you have to ask your partner what they think about their parents is because you know in this era your partner has to have someone that they are accountable to like you must be accountable to someone so you need to know if their parents make important decisions for for them or if they consult their parents to make important decisions you really need to ask these questions to know who you would be able to talk to in case your partner decides to maybe act up or who is accountable to so this doesn't even just um like restrict to just parents you need to know if he has spiritual fathers or mentors or someone that he owes him i esteem so the ninth question you also need to ask your partner what is their idea of leisure what is their idea of their, their idea of flex what's their idea of having fun you don't want to marry someone that likes to go to the club why you like to be at home you don't want to marry someone that likes to be high well i don't i don't expect you to be with someone that likes to be high anyways because I on what you can be high on the Holy Spirit, but then I on what you you can't be with someone that enjoys traveling while you want to sit at home. You can't be with someone that enjoys um adventure when you are scared and you don't want to compromise. So you need to talk about that because the fun things you do together will actually create memories for both of you. So you need to be sure that both of you are in sync. Your husband might want to jump from ten story building, and you like me now my husband he likes play play that can kill somebody and me like this now i don't like anything that passed my own strength but you know we're able to find our way around it 
or we will be able to find our way around it when we get to some of those stages but for now like you need to also discuss to make sure that you are on the same page so last but not the least what is their moral stance on issues what does this person think about some issues of moral concern what is your partner's take on dressing are you conservative is your partner also conservative like if you are conservative and your partner believes in body positivity like i want to reveal my breast i want to show off my bum bum you know there's going to be an issue because your partner is an adult so you need to you need to also discuss moral issues around smoking you know just like i said around leisure around, like when you want to bring up your children which way do you want whose style whose style do you want to use to bring up your children what's that person's moral stand is it a strict parent is it one that would stand firm is it one that wants to please the kids is she one that would say something now in front of the kids and they pull the kids aside and say a different thing so you want to be sure that you and your partner are on the same level now the list of questions that you can ask your partners is inexhaustible in all honesty it is inexhaustible but these ones that i have discussed in this video are very very important and you cannot afford to not ask these questions if you truly want peace of mind and you want to be happy in your relationship so if you stay tuned to the video till this end don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section on what you think or the questions that you think i've missed out and also if you have other topics you want me to talk about don't forget to drop in the comment section thank you for staying till the end i'll see you in my next video until then bye